Hey, I'm Paul Nixon Atia. Uh, this is Siti, my dog. Welcome to my home studio. Come on in. Come. This is my space. It's a bit, you know, messy, I'd say. Um, my workspace. And uh, this is my um, desk for my online teaching. I'm currently um, teaching at Taylor's, uh, teaching the foundation program, um, foundation in architecture and also diploma in interior design at Taylor's College. This corner right here is our dining area. So oh, when we have guests, this table is expandable and then yeah, you can fit more people. We have this old cabinet that just displays some books, some artwork from our friends and that's my old work so we have uh, and uh, yeah I think that's uh, just a quirky and simple setup we have that Britney Spears I've just recently moved into this new space uh, in April um, ever since uh, MCO first implemented uh, so I haven't done any work yet but it's just until recently I've done some commission work and a few um, research, uh, sketches, studies for an upcoming group show for 2021, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah so the process, um, sketches, um, sticky notes, and uh, yeah, so I was, you know, I have other stuff that uh, is going on, right? I'm working on a prototype of a tracer some sketches that I'm currently doing for uh, CI work, uh, corporate identity. And uh, yeah, so I mostly work um, at this corner right here. This was from um, the Obsession series for my solo exhibition. So I'm not trying to relate it into anything that is like objectified, like a straightforward literal understanding, but because I have a few uh, previous work that is just like like grids. People say, oh, are these trees? But in fact, trees don't exist in that manner, like straight, um, uniform. But yeah, um, I guess it's just where it's coming from. I mostly um, take a lot of time doing the research and readings, collecting materials. And in terms of the way I work, the production would be, it can be quite fast in terms of produ uh, uh, producing the work. But uh, I spend most of the time, you know, going through some readings uh, and then lots of references, sketches, and I don't know, printed notes, um, articles. So that's basically how I normally um, work. And then towards the end, it's just a production. The, the essence of the work, the, the, the context, the history that I'm looking at, so I think yeah, it's an important part of my practice. Before starting any architectural project or studio project, I normally would draw grids of my building. And then it started as that, you know, and then um, slowly it, it, it becomes and in a way evolved into a more, art, I would say, artistic um, expression. Take this for example. Um, is this a sketch of um, the new body of work that I'm developing? And then I always sketch in scale and proportion. I mean, it doesn't have to be like exact, you know, certain dimension, but I play with proportion. Like one of this is, uh, and then the uh, other side will be a third. All right, so that, that, that's the kind of uh, connotation that I have in my work. So in terms of proportion and scale, it's very strong. Bang. Yay. Wait. Go. City. It's actually John's, uh, my housemate. So um, she came to their house, their place. And then she just kind of adopted them. And then she kind of adopted us. Yeah. <laughs> and then she never left. Oh, so this is a 
um, a work that I'm currently working on. It's a continuation from my previous solo. I use Try Twigs um, as my main tool and also just a, a flat brush and uh, Chinese ink. Sorry, that's not the, that's IKEA coffee, so yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I paint nothing. <laughs> it's just grid lines, um, forms, uh, shapes, I guess, and shade, um, shadows. Um, these are my previous work. So I started with um, Urban Sketch. So I go on site and then just start, um, you know, spend three hours or four hours to just sketch sceneries, buildings, mostly. And then I move on to canvas. Yeah. So my main uh, medium is still very much the same. It's Chinese ink and dry twigs. But the paper, um, I still use that to sketch my work. But they're not like really um, like a sketch of the work, but it's more like a studies. Um, because at the end of the day, I don't think any of my sketch look exactly like um, any of my work, my, my, my final outcome. But uh, yeah, just, just the practice of um, trying to find the right size, the scale and the proportion. Yeah. My, my favorite part of my studio is actually there's no specific um, area, but um, I mostly love that chair. I have no idea why, but um, you know, it's just if I'm, you know, uh, in a short break or something, and then I'll just bring that chair, and then maybe I can sit here and then there. That that's, yeah, but I mostly spend my, my 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 days here, you know, with my classes. Okay, and then um, at night. Uh, I'll try to do some work at the other corner. I've read um, this Invisible Cities like a couple of years back. When in, it's just that the new body of work that I'm, I'm, I'm currently developing, I like, I like that, that idea of how Marco Polo and Kublai Khan is having a conversation, a dialogue. It's just like about Basically about, mainly about Kublai Khan listening to uh, Marco Polo, the famous um, traveller. Just go around the cities and mostly talking about Venice, right? And uh, yeah, I like how he explains city not in a rigid or uh, 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 um, the hardness of it, but more the softness of it, the intangibility, how, you know, the building, the shape, the, uh, sorry, uh, the plan of the cities is actually shaping the lives of the the the, the um, people around it, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of inspired into that. Um, yeah. <laughs> city, come on, city. Hey, come here. No, sit. Oh my goodness! So sorry. So. Yeah, that's the Lady Gaga's car, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty nice old vintage car. She has it exactly in the same color. I think 2020 has been quite, I mean, I would say interesting. Um, but the good thing about it is that it gives us time to reflect and slow down to just really reflect on what we have done. Um, you know, what we can learn from the past and then how can we speculate to you know, we progress in the future. So it gives you a lot of time to really contemplate and celebrate on your purpose, I guess. Or, I don't know, maybe your being and existence. and. Yeah, I get to spend a lot more time at home with my friends and also my dog, Siti. But I really miss, I, always, I really miss my family in Kuching, I guess. Yeah, so I haven't seen them in probably almost a year. Yeah, I think that would be my, what I think about 2020. 
Okay, thank you so much, guys, for doing the studio tour. I hope you guys enjoy um, the tour. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao. Bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs>